I'm sorry, but like 750 isn't going to cut it. It's not enough. And I know people there that have lost everything. And they have lots of friends who have lost everything. And people can't just rebuild like that. In many cases, insurance is not going to cover any of this. All right, so people are really hurting. This is the time when you need the federal government. You are an American taxpayer. Thank you very much. So why aren't they helping? Mallorca is saying, sorry, we're like out of money. So much for Milton on the way. We are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. We don't have the money to make it through the season. The season happens every stinking season, okay, buddy? It happens every year. It's called hurricane season. When I was a correspondent, actually back at CBS, I remember, was it 2005? I had Katrina. I had Wilma. I had Rita. I mean, there were a whole slew of hurricanes, right? We went and covered every hurricane. It's called hurricane season. So if I'm running FEMA, guess what? I actually try to budget some money for hurricane season. But instead, what are they doing? Well, this one on Twitter, I want to share an excerpt of a reporter that caught up with some people that are in New York who are living off the FEMA funds. And this is not pretty. No. Totalmente en español. Yo hablo español. This is all in Spanish. There's a translation. I'll actually translate some of it for our audio listeners on Apple Podcasts. Here we go. ¿Y por cuánto tiempo han estado quedándose aquí en el Rojo Hotel? Desde que llegué en eh, julio. ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántos meses es eso? Como siete meses. ¿Y han tenido que pagar alquimiento? No, no, no. Nada. No he pagado nada. ¿Es, es 100% gratis? Sí, sí. ¿Y le dan almuerzo, desayuno? Sí. No sí, le dan. Cosas como... del niño, personal, okay, no, so pañales, the kids, they give everything. Lo que they que give the diapers. Yeah, you know, todo hacen limpieza de la cuarta. ¿Cómo clean the hotel room? Sí, 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 oh, they clean the hotel room for us every day. Which I had that. Todos los días hacen eso. Every sí, day? Yep. Every day. ¿Han podido poder conseguir trabajo ustedes? ¿Han podido conseguir trabajo? No. 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 Si ustedes no. tuvieran un problema de medicina, ¿cómo podrían recibir ayuda? ¿Qué tienes que hacer con eso? Bueno, eh, con una tarjeta, la, la del seguro de Medicare. Y la misma. Well, well, there's this thing called Medicare. Y eso no abarca el seguro. It covers the children's needs as well. You get benefits from that. Are you thankful to our president for this? Oh, of course. Of course, because we're not working. He's the one helping us. Okay, great. Like, you know what? Wonderful. And yet, we can't afford this, ladies and gentlemen. We can't afford this because when Mayorkas tells us there's no more money for hurricane season and we see headlines like this, let me read them to you. Department of Homeland Security, now it's $380 million they're sending to migrants. We've got uh, New York City to get $104.6 million for FEMA for asylum seekers. We've got Department of Homeland Security announces distribution of more than $77 million in congressional funding for communities receiving, congressional, uh, receiving migrants. You've got Department of Homeland Security announces distribution of more than 10, 12 million. I, these are small numbers. I get it compared to what's really needed. FEMA awards, here's a big one, $110 million to the Emergency Food and Shelter Program to assist migrants. Department of Homeland Security announces $300 million in direct funding to communities receiving migrants and $340 million to a new competitive, competitive awards process. Okay, so they've been spending money. They certainly have been spending money. It's just that, well, now all the money's gone at a rather important time, important time in terms of the election cycle, too. We're going to get to that in a second because it's horrific what this one guy said who's advising Kamala, who used to advise Obama, and, um, you know, I, I realize KGP wants you to think that this is all wrong, that this is misinformation, but um, let's, let's play. I, I'm going to play some sound from the past, a blast from the past, but first, consider what she said today. This is minutes ago coming into us from the press room. There, somebody's like, oh, you know, trying to brown nose a bit. Oh, what do you do about the disinformation, misinformation? She's like, oh, yes, that is a problem. It is a problem. 
great question. Combating misinformation and disinformation is always, always critically important. It is. Uh, you, you heard the lay down that I gave at the top. The reason I did that at the top is because we wanted to make sh clear uh, that uh, things are available to, uh, to the public, folks who are impacted, and that misinformation, disinformation is indeed dangerous. It gets in the way in what we're trying to do here. It does. And there's been a lot of falsehoods. Uh, and let me just fact check a couple of things because it's really important. Uh, it is, again, it is wrong, it is dangerous, and I also called out the, there are important people, people who have p power, privilege, who are spreading these, uh, these falsehoods, and they need to stop. They need to stop doing that. So disaster relief, this is a falsehood, disaster relief funds used on immigrants illegally in the U.S. The fact is, no money is being diverted from response needs. That's the fact. I don't think that people are alleging, KJP, that it's being diverted. I think they're citing the fact that Mayorkas said just last week he has no more money left, that there is no money to actually pay to help the hurricane victims. Not that it's being diverted, but that you're out of funds. And that you got no more on the way. That's the concern. Another falsehood. FEMA confiscating Helene survivor property. That's false. That is not true. The fact is FEMA cannot seize your property or land, period. Another falsehood that's out there. FEMA will only provide $750 to disaster survivors to support their recovery. That is a falsehood. That is not true. The fact is... This is an upfront payment for urgent needs like food and medication. Many survivors, many survivors will qualify for more assistance, assistance. Another falsehood, FEMA, FAA are restricting airspace in North Carolina. That is not true. That's false. The fact is there are no airspace restrictions in North Carolina. So we're going to continue to combat these. It's important to combat them. Uh, but people of uh, people who have a microphone and a podium uh, should not continue to spread this falsehood. It is dangerous. It is incredibly dangerous. Is the administration okay. tracking that? Let me be very clear. What I myself am saying, and I think a lot of others are saying, is that FEMA had a budget. And FEMA misused its budget because it spent all its money it spent all its money trying to address the very severe border crisis, okay? Now, I'm not saying that that wasn't severe and there was not a humanitarian need. For sure there was. Believe me, there was. It's all the more reason why we need a strong border so that you don't create the wrong kinds of incentives that bring people here that we can't actually cover. But let's be very clear. FEMA has said it's completely out of money. It says there's nothing left, for goodness sakes. I'm not making that up. This is my Orcus. We are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. You don't have the money, so you didn't plan because you spent it all on a whole bunch of other stuff that maybe, maybe you needed to do for humanitarian reasons. I mean, I would argue that you should have put the, the, the wall up. I would argue that Kamala should have done her job as the borders are and actually prevented all those people from coming here. Elon Musk would say there was a reason to the, the madness, so to speak, method to the madness. We'll get to that. But here's KJP saying, okay, yeah. This is what FEMA was spending its money on. No, Biden did not take uh, FEMA relief uh, money to use, uh, to use on migrants. So FEMA regional administrators have been meeting with city officials on site to coordinate, to coordinate available federal uh, support from FEMA and other uh, federal agencies. Funding is also available through FEMA's emergency food and shelter program to eligible local governments and non-for-profit non organizations upon request uh, to support humanitarian relief for migrants. Okay. So FEMA money was going to support humanitarian relief for migrants. Let's not pretend that that didn't happen. They were quite proud of the headlines at the time, all the money that they were spending to help the migrants. 
And now suddenly when it seems it's time that actual American citizens might actually need the money and the assistance from FEMA, FEMA says it's out of funds. Again, scary, scary, scary political possible reason that David Axelrod alluded to. We'll get to that in a second. But first, Senator, Senator Cotton's not having it. Like, he went on the weekend show, you know, NBC's got this Meet the Press show that used to be quite legendary but has gone downhill in more ways than one. 